Hello everybody, Grace Dual Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. On the outskirts of Bricksville exists the Grand Brick Canyon. And we're here today because there are a few different vehicles. Let me go ahead and jump out of my body real quick. There we go, it's a little out of body experience. Something that happens quite often in Brick Rigs. It's one of the ways to cope with all of the sadness of having your city blown up over and over again. One of the things I wanted to do was check out a bunch of the various creations that we didn't have time for last time. There have been so many, and one of them is these. Pepe's Tacos. Yes, folks, it's the Taco Express over here. The Pepe Express, it is a party train. And let me tell you something, Pepe's bringing the party to you. Premium tacos since 1987, y'all. So Barbarian and the Pepe's Corporation have grown so large that now they're burning fuels over here for the appropriate red and green smokestacks. That is friggin' awesome. Let's go check out the Pepe's Express. What sort of things can you can you find inside of such a vehicle? Now, the vehicle should not exceed greater than 100 kilometers per hour, which is fine. I mean, we're not coming in here to uh, do speed racing. We're coming in here to get our, our eat and our drink on. Now, supposedly... Several objects were uh, reviewed by the Brick Rigs Board of Safety. And it seems like there's some sort of odd salsa mixture in here. I think we may have found it. There's some some very strange objects in here. Is this the, the giant boombox speaker system over here? Or is this some sort of other odd explosive device? Well, let's find out. It mentions that uh, if you press Action Key 2... It will mix the salsa. What does mixing the salsa actually do? Now, I do believe that action button number one is the left mouse button. Okay. No big deal. Nothing really going on there. And then, and then I think, oh, that detaches the cart. I got it. And then action button number two is the middle mouse button. Oh, gosh. <laughs> ah, I should have known. Oh, I should have known. Oh, okay. Yep, that'll do it. No wonder. Yeah, you're not going to pass inspection with that, Barbarian. It's a beautiful train. Really love the colored smokestacks. But I think that your salsa is a bit past anything anyone would consume in a normal dietary functional way. Now, a couple of you guys wanted to see some off-road stuff. So here we have the Alpha Centauri Rover by Scrumptious. And supposedly this thing has a bunch of different functions. I guess driving it simulates zero gravity. So let's check it out here. Now obviously we have, you know, just like a normal kind of roving like this. And then if you press the out button, oh boy, that seems to activate the jets. So the way it works is you get a little bit of air there we go, and then, <laughs> and then you can kind of like fly for short periods of time. Now I imagine this would do fantastically on the uh, the other desert board, but there are a few rocks over here that we might be able to catch some air off of if I don't crash. Never mind, never mind. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe I can. Nope, didn't work. I was gonna say maybe I can rock it off here. Oh, nope, totally gonna work. Totally gonna work. Here we go. Here we go. Crap. Hold on. One more time. Let's just kind of get over the freaking. There we go. There it is. Look at that. Right there. Zero G's. Okay, now let's get down here and then crash right into a rock. All right, boys. Michael Jordan would be proud. Let's freaking do this. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. See, it's working, sort of. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Nope, nope. Ooh. Oh, man, the solar panels aren't supposed to be highly explosive like that. This is bull crap. On a side note, we're moving 6,000 kilometers per hour right now as we slowly fall into the netherworld. Again, my little brick man clasping his head in exasperation, saying to himself, great, how many more times do we have to play this game? How many more times must I be tossed into the core of the earth? Well, little brick man, the answer is as many times as it freaking takes. Now, supposedly we have some remote controlled like drones that we can send out here. Oh, God in heaven. Okay. What the hell? Okay, I didn't know this thing was a freaking transformer. Maybe I should have. What the hell? 
Oh, this is interesting. That was weird. I was... I was using the mouse to do that. Okay, uh, let, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. We're activating Optimus Prime mode or something. Oh, there it is! Okay, so now that we're here, now we have to detach this. Boop! There it is! That's so cool! Okay, now... Now, can you... Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. There! Crap. I think I just rolled the first one. That's okay, though. That's why we get two tries. All right. Second time's the charm. Here we go. All right, now, nice and slow, you gotta go down here. Nice and slow. I see how he built this. Oh, God. I don't know what the hell happened there. Okay, now, how do you... You just... It's no big deal. You just kind of gotta move on the... Really? All right, one more time. Just bringing the platform down. This is gonna be it, boys. This is gonna be... Wow, this thing is, like, really cool. Okay, so disengage... Alternate mode. No, not alternate mode. Oh, regular mode. Let's try regular mode. There we go. There we go. There. No, 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 no. I did the exact same thing as I did last time. Fool me once. Shame on me. Son of a. Fo oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yep. Everything's going to be fine. Fool me twice. It's gray still plays. All right. I think we're going to get it this time. Yes. 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 I did it. Yay. We got it! We got our little rovers! Look, I'm controlling both of them! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, yeah! Look at this right over here! Yay! So, what do you do with them? You gotta run them around here. It kind of seems like they're made out of explosives. I don't really know 100%, but I feel like if I run into a building over here, something horrible might happen. Yep! Yep! I was right! Playing this game, you begin to develop, like, instincts. I know that... That seems kind of counterintuitive because realistically everything blows up, so you would just assume that everything is highly flammable and filled with, like, extreme amounts of explosives. But it's it's about knowing when the stuff is going to explode. Because typically when I think stuff is going to blow up, everything goes according to plan, and when I think everything's going according to plan, everything blows up. Something else I wanted to show you guys, so uh, Lizard had made something called the Crash Tester. There's another one too, it's like a police vehicle. And it- does that thing kill me on the front? Is this, is this the little brick man crying for help? Or is this just telling me that this car is made for killing? Um, so the idea behind this car is, is it looks simple, right? It looks like a car. But there is like a freakish amount of bricks in this car. And he made it in such a way so that when it crashes, it crashes in like extreme impressive ways. So we happen to have a bunch of cliffs over here. Which I can drive down. Oh, look, the hood opens up. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, look. It, and it, like, it, like, flexes and bends and stuff like that. Okay, hold on. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Apparently, I have the ability to just spontaneously launch the car as well. What in the hell is going on? This is actually perfect. Me doing this and, and this ruining my, my day right now <laughs> by spontaneously blowing up. Is giving you guys an excellent showing at just how many parts go into this. So even like beams that look like they're, you know, just like straight lines of, of like one brick are actually singular bricks that this guy has put together in just such a way. Oh, it's still running. In just such a way to make this car the ultimate crasher. Now, hold on here. Let's see if I can. Oh, you know what else we could do? Hold on. I am going to try and jump off this building. I'm going to kind of Austin Powers my way around here. And if it doesn't work, we're going to go back over to Bricksville. And remember, the giant propeller is over there. Oh, crap. In the land of brick rings, only two things are certain. Taxes and everything blowing up spontaneously. So here's the other police crasher that he had made. Let's go ahead and uh, toss this thing over here into the propeller. Ah, propeller of sadness. What do you have in store for me today? It's like winning the lottery. You never know what you're going to get. Here we go. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Look at how many bricks! It like, it like broke the vehicle in half, but it was still together. And then it just like cut it to pieces. Oh, that's awesome. There's also a grinder up there we might be able to get inside of. Sorry, officer. But your car has just been decommissioned. Well, 
That was, uh, that was anticlimactic. Decommissioned! There we go. There we go. It's kind of grinding it up. Oh, no, it is definitely grinding it up. <laughs> Gotta get those forks in there. Get those forks in there. Get that cop car. Yes. Live in sadness, Officer Brickton. Live in sadness. The cop car, the top part. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, oh, it's like. It's like the grinder is crapping out the cop car. Okay. That was cool. Hold on. Let's grab the other car real quick as well. Today is a very auspicious day, Lizard. Because the grinder of fate will not be eating one of your creations, but two of them. Down into the grinder you go. Yes! Oh! Oh, it's, oh wow, in super slow-mo, everything goes flying. Oh, I wonder if it'll be a, a three-point basket shot over here into the propeller. What do you guys think? You think we can get it? You think we can get it? Oh, just barely missed it. And here's what's left. Look at this. Oh, there's a little brick guy. This is what is left of all of Lizard's hard work. I don't know if I should call him Lizard or Lizard, because he's got two Zs, so it's like a little bit more exotic than the traditional Lizard. Over here by Alex Manat Manat Machamach. We've got Dave's fireworks display. Hope you guys all enjoyed your 4th of July. Now we're gonna enjoy a little belated 4th of July fireworks over here in Brick Rigs. Hold D to push out Murica smoke. Hold S to push patties down on the grill. W to launch the bomb. Oh, I'm sorry, the fireworks. And then C to change camera angles. Yeah, I'm gonna forget this. All right, so here's our fireworks extravaganza. It looks pretty good, actually. Look at this. We got the grill over here. That is a freaking grill master grill over there, baby. Holy crap. We've got uh, some boxes laying on the ground, because why not? We've got, what's this say? Lost Cat, City Park, and then Joe's Car Repair Shop. All right. Got a little vehicle over here. Now, as I understand, there's, I believe there's some lighting on this. There we go. Justin, I may even have to turn the lights down. Now, we do have some Murica smoke, so we're gonna have to use that. I think that's S. I was wrong, it's D. There it is. There's the Murica smoke. And now S grills the burgers. Oh yeah. Right like that right there. Okay, now, I do believe that if we click on the W, that will go ahead and release the rockets. Now the thing is, I want these rockets to release with the Murica smoke, so you have to be quick you have to be quick on this. Let's see if I can do this. Ready? We're going to do this. F. There it is. I managed to get it. Oh, it's perfect. And fireworks will be going off in T minus three, two, one. Fire the... Oh, wait. I have to go like this. Fire the fireworks. <laughs> oh, yes. Kind of maneuvering around the different keys eludes me every once in a while because I have to jump back into the uh, into the detonator seat in order to detonate the fireworks but then I have to jump back out to watch the detonation which I still kind of missed holy crap though you weren't kidding you weren't kidding this thing will level half a city block for sure I think these are going to be banned next year now this is one I've wanted to show for about a week and I haven't been able to just to how many stuff I've been doing Scrumptious is back again. Again, Scrumptious, not knowing the meaning of the word excessive, has built himself a mansion. Now, remember, originally I said Scrumptious did not have a mansion. Well, now Scrumptious does have a mansion. It is a freaking Star Wars. Is this? I think this is the Imperial Shuttle, isn't it? Look at this. It's ridiculous. Smart idea, too, putting it up on a platform so you could get it in there uh, in a lot of the spawn area. Now, supposedly, there are many secrets inside of this thing, and there's a lot of different stuff that it can do, too. It can, like, lower and raise landing gear and stuff like that. Hold on. Let me see if I can do any of this. So now, page up and page... There we go. There's the shuttle bay. So that's how you can walk up inside of the mansion. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we're, we're up here. There we go. Up inside the mansion. What? Oh, there's a cockpit. What's it say? 
autopilot on, turn off, destination Hoth Rebel Base. <laughs> Power level is low. Hyper jump impossible. What? The friggin the friggin empire will be will be furious to hear of this. Arrival time without hyper jump. 509 years. Okay. Well, we've got nothing but time, boys. Engine, shield systems. We got weapons and temperatures and statuses and things of that name. Main laser blaster is loaded and ready. The rear weapon system also seems to be doing good. Wow, there's a lot of stuff over here. Holy crap. Answering machine. <laughs> For when you're so busy blowing up the friggin' rebel base that you just can't take a call. You know, the Palpatine's calling and he's and he's over there and he's like, what is the status on the rebel base? And you're like, and you're like, hello, you've reached the Imperial shuttle. Uh, I'm not here right now. If you could please leave your name, number, and the time you called, I will get back to you as soon as possible. So we've got stealth mode, which says not enabled. Scrumptious is watching you. Then we have the communication system. Death Star is calling you. Ignore. You're damn right we're going to be ignoring it. Let's continue on here. Oh, this is already pretty cool. So we have, oh, look at this. We've got like the holographic projector over here of the Death Star. It's awesome too because it's like perfectly imperfect. You know what I mean? Like how, how the holograms in, uh, in a Star Wars always shimmied and had like all kinds of breaks in them. Oh, that's so cool. Everyone can sit around here and marvel at its beauty. You know what? We're going to, we're going to check the rest of this out the old fashioned way. What's it say? Scru it's a mailbox. Scrub just no advertising mail or I will take off and hunt you. All right. So let's go up the platform here. Now this is completely explorable by foot, which I don't normally do, but I should really do more of. So let's go jump our way up here. Now, always the space conver con conversionist, the space always being space conscientious. There we go. We have a lower level right beneath the, I don't know what to call this, kind of like the meeting room over here. What do we have down here? Look at this. There's a little, it's like a desk over here. There's some notes. It says something. Electricity bill of 2016 is like $3 billion. Your monthly fee was increased by 254. Oh, is that million? I don't even know. That's, whoa, what the hell just happened? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, 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 something's happening, boys. Something just happened inside here. Oh no, I knocked everything over. What the crap? Okay, I think everything's fine. Actually, things don't sound fine. It sounds like something's happening outside of here. All right, let me see if I can show you the rest of this place before something blows up. Star Wars. Oh, there's the Death Star blowing up right there. If you want to go to sleep, you can head inside of the beautiful, beautiful king-size bed over here with two lights. I would call this a king-size bed for our little brick man. What the hell? Activate. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Over here, we've got... Oh, that's the landing gears. Okay. And then over here, what is this? This is like your kitchen area? Yeah, this looks like your kitchen area. What is this? Oh, 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 I don't want to activate anything quite yet. There's a whole lot of stuff here. There's the grill area. Over here, we have the bathroom. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a nice bathroom right here. You have plenty of space with which to sit upon the toilet and drop bombs on the rebel toilet base, as it were. Look at, oh no! Okay, something's happening. Something's happening. Oh no. Uh oh. Somehow, somehow the Imperial shuttle has like drifted on top of the, oh my God. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's a spinny function. I think I activated the spinny function and that's what's screwing up the mansion. Although, this does, this does bring an idea to light. The new brick order is over here with a desert missile truck. I think we may have a target for his gigantic desert missile. Oh, new brick order. What in the hell have you constructed? Now in your sights, you will notice Hold on, let's, well, this is first person freaking driving view over here. In your sights, you will notice a glorious Star Wars shuttle. What I want you to do is shoot that some bitch down. Hold on, let's get over here and let's line on up. It's already kind of leaning. All right, kind of crank our missile up here. Hold on now, we need to make sure that we're on target. Uh, down a little bit, over a little bit, right about... Well, I want a little bit high because the missile may have some drop. Right about 
there. All right, boys. Alternate page up and page down to fire the missile. Fire the missile! Well. I think I... Yep. Yep. I think I may have screwed things up. I think I may have screwed things up big time. Well, I figured out what went wrong. I didn't have the stabilizers down, and it was weird. I couldn't put the stabilizer down because one of them was, like, floating. It was really odd. I don't really know why that happened, but I think things are going to be just fine now. Okay. Missile goes up here like so. Very good. Page up to put the stable. I'm sorry. Page down to put the stabilizers down. There we go. There. Oh, the stabilizers are getting a little bit wobbly there. And then right over here. And now to fire the missile. Fire the missile. There we go. There we go. So we definitely fired the missile. I need to arc this thing a lot more though. There goes the missile. Wow. Okay. We can do better. On my honor, the scrumptious mansion will fall. Fire the freaking missile. There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, it's starting to sag a little bit, but I think we're still going to be okay. All it has to do is just touch it. Just touch the scrumptious mobile. Uh-oh. 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 Right here, right here, right Fire! Oh, I should have known the brick count would be too high. Oh, I should have known. Oh. Oh, slideshow simulator. This is what it would look like if an Imperial shutter were destroyed in one of the flipbook things. You know, where you flip the pages and it turns into an animation. Oh, my God. Slow-mo really had a problem with that. Oh, look at all the pieces spilled down to the ground. Wow. That missile... Did a fantastic job. There goes one of the wings. There goes one of the wings. Well, Scrumptious, I hope that your mansion has rogue missile insurance. Because are those bricks just flip-flopping around inside? Look at what sort of weird brick dance party is going on inside of the shuttle. Oh, you know how we should finish this off? I just thought about this. There is no more American way to finish off the shuttle than with a lovely fireworks display. You boys know it's time to fire the freaking America rockets. All right, now how, what's the America smoke again? I think it's, there we go. America smoke, okay. America rockets, there we go. America rockets are off, looking good. And then, hold on now. And then right when you get in line, it's time to hit the detonation button for America, boys. For the slideshow gods of brick rigs. Die for our amusement. Oh, God. I think I've blown up everything of value. What in the hell happened over here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The mansion. The mansion's crumbling. Oh, no. Is it going to fall over? I can't believe that this base has held this thing up. I, it's, it's truly unbelievable. There it is. Finally, the scrumptious mansion collapses to the ground in agony and despair. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. A lot of brand new creations. They are getting cooler and cooler every single time. And there's still so many that I haven't been able to show you guys. So we're going to have to do that on the next episode. Also, I'm finally looking at increasing my rig. Not my brick rig, but my computer rig. Even far beyond what I already have, because as one of the staple series is, I need to be able to keep up with this game, and damn it, if it takes a ridiculous processor, then I'll call it the price of doing business. Anyway, folks, until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>